Up with it, girl. Rock with it, girl. Shot them it, girl. Bada bang bang. Up with it, girl. Rock with it, girl. Shot them it, girl. Hey guys, bang, bang. welcome back to my channel. This is Michelle Miko Dean, and you guys know I love my crochet braids, but. For the longest time, I've been wanting to try weave. I love the texture and the beautiful curl pattern of some of the weave styles that you cannot get in crochet braids because the weave hair is generally too silky to crochet in and interlock in place. So this video is on my very first weave installation. I hope you guys enjoy it. I do a full tutorial to show you the complete installation. It's my very first time ever doing a sewing weave and I love the way it turned out. So definitely keep watching. Make sure you subscribe before we get into the video and um, I will see you guys soon. This is my braiding pattern. I want to try something a little bit different for this weave installation than I normally do for my crochet installation. So I just braid those side braids going down to the side as much as I can with my mohawk and uh, straight back and then the rest of the braids I pretty much did like I do my crochet straight to the back connected at the bottom. I do have a perimeter braid all the way around my head. Now the hair I'm using is the Outre Batik uh, Jerry Curl uh neckline fibers this synthetic hair is in 16 inches i wanted a shoulder length style and i thought this one would be perfect now you can see these wefts are super thin and to have a full style like the look that i'm going for i'm going to double these babies and i'm going to install the first couple of rows of tracks doubled like this and then i'll start to install them with a single track. When I start a new track, I always sew through the web to make sure the knot has something securely to hold it in place. It's gonna make sure your web is nice and secure, especially in the beginning. You don't want any lifting webs in the beginning of your style. And then I sew a couple times through and then I secure the track in place with bobby pins all around the braid. That makes it easier to sew so you can just then go under and over the webs and continue to sew without having to worry about placement until that entire track is installed. Up with it girl, rock with it girl, shot them it girl, bada bang bang. Up with it girl, rock with it girl, shot them it girl, bada bang bang. Up with it girl, rock with it girl, shot them it girl, bada bang bang. Bounce with it girl, dance with it girl, get with it girl, bada bang bang. Come on, come on. Here's the second bundle. You can see I am threading the needle through the weft and attaching it to the hair. After that, I just sew as normal, going under and over the weft until the entire track is uh, sewn into place. Again, I always secure my track in place with bobby pins. So once I start sewing, I can just continue to sew all the way around until the track is fully installed. And you guys, the sew-in is a much more complicated and difficult process to master than crochet braids. But with some practice, you know, you get better. It's like with anything, you just have to practice. Practice makes perfect. Uh, one of the reasons I love weave hair is because it uh, has a different texture than crochet hair. And it looks more natural in a lot of cases. And uh, so that's why I wanted to start experimenting with weave hair. At this point, I'm going to flip over the track and continue sewing the hair in. And so I'm just securing the base at the flip over point so that it's nice and flat and it doesn't lift in the beginning of my style. And then I could flip over the web and continue to sew over and under the web as I normally would. The flip over method is a better option to me instead of cutting your tracks because if you want to reuse your hair, it's much more difficult if you cut it, of course. And so the flip over method um, allows you to get more wear and more use out of your hair and I'm just going to start installing, at this point, uh, single tracks of hair. So I'm no longer doubling the wefts because I'm at the top of my hair and I don't want it too full here. I just want it the, uh, the bottom to be full because I have the shape size and the undercut. Um, I want to make sure the bottom of my style is nice and full. And just a word of advice, make sure you don't use too much thread so that the thread gets tangled in the hair. You can see in a prior clip that the thread kept getting tangled in the hair and I had to keep trying to separate it out. 
You don't you want to use enough thread to where you don't have to constantly re-thread your needle through the process of installing a track, but you don't want to use too much. So it's just a matter of finding a balance between using enough thread but not too much. So my camera cut off on me, but I did continue the installation of this full track around my head until only my center cornrows, cornrows were left to finish. To conceal this exposed weft right at the crown of my head, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to install another weft right in front of it, uh, going the opposite way. So going towards my face, and I'm gonna sew that in place and then just flip it back so the hair from that track covers the weft from the track right behind it. So all of my tracks are installed. The only thing left is the closure, but I don't like using closures. They don't look natural to me. So originally I decided to crochet in some hair. I put in the Bobby Boss Brazilian water curl, but it looked way too bulky and it took away from the natural silky curl pattern of the weave extensions. So I thought there has to be a way for me to pull some of this weave hair underneath the braid to cover the web. So I pulled out my crochet needle, started pulling hair through and it worked. In a play, no, I don't see what we see the thing you have to make me feel awake. Girl. Cause anytime you want that, catch it, the sea like the pull it up and put it on repeat. Girl, you're not that you're done in my pocket. Cause nothing in this world ain't more than what you are. I don't need no I love using this method as an alternative to a closure. It looks way more natural than a closure, and it's also more convenient than having leave out and having to blend that in every day with your extensions.